let's set up your Dropbox and integration. It's pretty simple. Go to your profile over here. It might look like this. Click on in integrations, scroll to Dropbox, and click connect your account. It's going to walk you through the process. Click continue. Decide what you're going to connect, your personal or your Dropbox, whatever. I have both, you know. You're looking for this message. This is the most important thing. Once you go back to here, you'll see it says now disconnect your account, which means if the button says disconnect now, that means that you must be connected. Now let's configure it, okay, because this is where you're going to determine where the documents are going to go when somebody applies. So the way the system's going to work is if somebody applies to your platform, you create an alo a loan for them. We're going to create a folder, okay? So if, let's say, most of the time we're talking about loan application coming in. Somebody's applying online. We're going to do, we're going to create a folder for them, and this is the instructions on how you want to do it and where it goes. Okay, so there's two options. Create a folder for each loan and place all synced files in that folder. So for example, loan app comes in, we create a folder for Joe Smith. Joe Smith then gets the replied email and that email asks uh, the customer for 10 documents. Joe now goes in and uploads all those documents. Um, we're gonna drop all those documents underneath Joe in their name, okay? That's one option. Option two, create a folder for each loan and folders for each condition within that loan. So, for example, you ask for 30 days pay stubs. Those, there'll be now a folder called pay stubs, and every single pay stub that they submit will go into that folder. So, it's up to you. That one is just sort of a, bl a blitz of condition files inside of a folder named the customer, or the other one is a folder inside of a folder. It's like inception. But the first next thing you need to do once you decide how that structure is going to work is you need to figure out where it's going to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on whatever, you know, pick, pick where it is. Here's where it goes. It can take some time guys. So make sure that you're, you know, being patient or going through all the folders and making sure that we're doing the right place. So you might have an area called client folders, something like that, and then click save. Once you've done that, we should be automatically be creating new customer folders for you and dropping in any conditions that are returned underneath their name. Hope this helps you guys be more efficient. Take care.